Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Thursday, January the 3rd. My name is Barry Anderson, moderator of your trading room. Any questions for me, you can use this email address. This is a link to get into our room. It is 100% free. You don't have to be a member of Trade Ideas also to get into our free trading room. I open the room at about 9 o'clock Eastern Time. That's when I start to share my screen, get live on the mic at about 9.05. I go up to 3.30 Mondays to Thursdays and up to 3 o'clock on Fridays. This is a link for a subscription. You'll see a promo code there for 15% off instant savings either in the first month of a standard or premium subscription or the entire year of a standard or premium subscription. Well, first let's take a look at the SPY. Uh, another very choppy day. Well, this is, this is a choppy day compared to yesterday. If um, here's here's what happened and this is the pre-market action right there that brown area so you know we already had a gap down from yesterday's close and then the market really started to give it up a lot a little respite right there and, and it looked like it was just going to continue down then we had a little nice little rally all right and then it was starting to move down again so this is this is pretty choppy and you can see that with the Holly alerts, the same sort of thing, you know. What you'd like to see on a, on a, on a good day is, of course, a, a profit and loss column that is just, I mean, you're going to have chop, a, a little bit of chop up and down over the course of a day, but something a little more steady. Let me get to the risk. You see, I mean, this is just way too choppy. So you've got to be very, very nimble, you know, in, in, in the trades, uh, not just with Holly, but with any trades that you're in, unless, you know, as we always talk about, unless you're in that uh, true alpha stock that doesn't care about what the market is doing. Now, this is one that I actually did take. The, uh, the Portola was a, a Holly alert. Unfortunately, you know, because of the chop in the market, I'm still not in this one, but uh, I think I got into this one. Well, there was the alert at 1888, got in at 1885, covered most of it around here, 1856, you know, because it was just chopping around a little bit. Now it is still working as the market is doing this. So this is really tracking tracking the market. Not my favorite type of uh, trades because, you know, they're, they're too beholden to the market. Unless we get a market in which, you know, we have a solid, solid trend up, then, th then that's wonderful. Kind of like yesterday, if you look at, you look at here's yesterday's action if you recall so the market had gapped down that's that brown area right there so, uh, it's hard to see okay so there is the brown area right there that's the pre-market yesterday but look what happened on the open i mean it just it, I, I, other than this little pullback here i mean it just basically rose for hours which is what you love to see okay as opposed to today where it gapped down popped up gapping down who knows what it's going to do so it's very very choppy right now a little bit difficult to trade not saying there aren't individual stocks to trade but you know it's it's just the, it makes it a little more challenging and that's why you know that's why holly is reacting like she is because you know she a lot of times she's not finding the the true alpha stock she's finding great setups and all but they are sometimes they're, they're they you know they will track the market a little too closely so this was the other this was the other one that I actually got into this BMY. BMY was um, actually they took over set. They had a buyout for Selgin, uh, CELG. And so this was the big gap down. Look at the pre, this is all pre-market. It rallied significantly in the pre-market. Excuse me. But once the market opened, it started to move down. Excuse me. And I actually traded this a couple of times. Uh, did okay in it, but again, you know, pretty choppy. I mean, it, what you'd like to see is like a nice steady trend. You know, these candles don't have to be wide. You'd like to see, you know, there's no problem having one wide one and then maybe start to settle down with a series of, of narrow ones, but just moving in the trend. So that really is about it. You know, I'm, um, I'm kind of waiting uh, for earnings season to start. That will be Alcoa. Let me just show you Alcoa. So Alcoa, not, there's, not that there's really anything to see right here, but Alcoa has earnings just get the symbol linking here. So Alcoa has earnings, I believe, in nine trading days from now. That's kind of what we consider the unofficial start to earnings. Uh, I think there some of the banks released the week before. So I think JP Morgan, I think uh, Wells Fargo, Goldman might even. But at any rate, this is kind of the unofficial start, and that's in about nine, not in about, 
we have it right here nine in nine business days okay so once we get that then we're going to see a lot of action a lot more alpha stocks that don't care what the rest of the market is doing to a certain extent these will start these will be stocks that are trading on their own because they've had earnings and it, you know investors will be either wildly excited you know and and uh, move the stock up or very disappointed and move it down so that is about it for today you know i had a couple other little trades but not nothing nothing uh, nothing of uh, very much consequence so you know the portola was really the only one that i that i really liked uh, from holly just couldn't stay in it long enough because of the chop so let me bring back my capture program there it is so if you have any questions for me you can use this email address this is the link to get into our 100 percent free room and I'll open the room tomorrow at about 9 o'clock Eastern. So hope to see you in the trading room tomorrow. Bye-bye.